I want to thank um, Senator Schumer uh, for bringing all of us together and demanding, and demanding um, that the federal government does its job of providing not only the relief, but um, uh, working on a relief, a, a recovery package that will provide the resources of, to Puerto Rico uh, to rebuild. And to the media, I am really grateful to you. And I hope that things happened in the last two days uh, about our heroes uh, being killed in a foreign country. And I understand your responsibility to cover uh, that news. But I beg you to please don't forget your responsibility to continue to bring light into the humanitarian crisis that is happening in Puerto Rico. There is no way to sugar, sugarcoat it. By every metrics, it is abundantly, abundantly and tragically clear that the response to Maria has been ineffective, slow, and weak. And the result is that our fellow citizens, American citizens, are suffering and dying. So today, we are demanding that at long last, someone be put in charge with the authority to manage the response. That the administration appoints a CEO of response and recovery. We did it here in New York City when Sandy, Sean Donovan, was in charge. Look, poverty in Puerto Rico. 44% of the people in Puerto Rico lives in poverty. We knew before Maria made landfall that the infrastructure in Puerto Rico was vulnerable. The power grid and therefore access to drinkable water was compromised. That is, this is going to be a long recovery. But the situation in Puerto Rico is dismal. And we, if any of you are watching the videos that are coming out from remote areas where still they cannot find supermarkets, 70% of the hospitals in Puerto Rico are functioning with power generators that were not meant for that kind of um, uh, uh, function. They, they're not going to last. And therefore, it's compromising people's lives. When a patient who is suffering from diabetes and go to a pharmacist, there is a lack of connectivity. And therefore, pharmacists cannot fill those prescri prescription drugs. And there is no ATM access. And people are forced to pay for those pre prescription drugs with their own money. They cannot access ATM. This is a terrible situation. The, the roads are blocked in those remote areas because of mudslides. So people lost their cars. There's no way. Yesterday, a, a lady, an old lady, 72 years old, she was driving, trying to drive to San Juan to get assistance to go into a, into a clinic. This is America. This is America. And, and we failed. We are failing the people in Puerto Rico. We have a responsibility. And so there is an opportunity to appoint someone who is going to be accountable to the federal government and is going to be accountable to the people of Puerto Rico. Look, we cannot change what has happened in Puerto Rico after Maria. And I suspect that history will judge the administration and this president harshly for the response so far. But the White House 
can change course, and in doing so, they can save lives and help expedite the recovery process. And that is exactly what we're doing here. As I said before, one life that is lost is too many. And by the way, 49 people have died already. There are 113 unac unaccounted. And, and people suspect that the death toll is going to be much higher. The whole world is watching what is happening in Puerto Rico. I don't know how else to put this before the President of the United States. But the real answer and the real attitude toward people that are suffering and they don't know they, where are they going to get a drinking water or where are they going to get the next meal is that the federal government is going to be there for them and that whatever it takes, we're going to do. Please, people are suffering. Don't say to them that we are going to pull resources away. We are better than that. We are Americans. Americans take care of each other. Thank you.